a new runner or triathlete, you know that you need to protect your ankles, knees, feet, hips, and back. And the only way we're gonna do that on a consistent basis is by using a max cushion shoe, a trainer that is going to protect those parts of your body. I've been on a quest to do just that, find the perfect max cushion trainer. Today's contender is the Brooks Ghost Max. So stay right here as I bring you some really great information. So in our quest for the Max Cushion Trainer, our next contender is the Brooks Ghost Max, the newest offering from Brooks in the Max Cushion category. Taking a look at the shoe itself, it is advertised as a road running shoe. It has a six millimeter drop and neutral stability. It runs well in the rain. I ran in it today in the rain and happened to step into a four inch deep puddle and it dries real well. Take that from personal experience. The shoe is certified carbon neutral using 54% recycled product in the upper and holds the APMA acceptance, the second shoe I've seen with that certification. It comes in nine colors for men, for women. The one I chose was, get this color name, Surf the Web Peacoat Sulfur. It looks like it's white, blue, black, and yellow to me, but what I like about these is they have a real sharp appearance and a matching sole. Kind of a cool addition when you have that many colors. As for sizes, there's 15 for men, 12 for women, all of them available in regular, wide, and extra wide, making 45 sizes for men and 36 sizes for women. So let's take a look at my thoughts on this shoe. I review my shoes in five categories, giving from zero to 10 points for appearance, fit and size availability, running in the sand, running in dry, and running in wet. So for appearance, I really like this shoe. I like the look of the shoe. I give it an extra point for the colored sole. This gets an eight out of 10. For fit and sizes, I bought a size 11. I usually use 11 and a half. These fit me just fine. And with all the different sizes available, I'm sure I can even refine it even a little bit more. Again, this one gets an eight out of 10. Mm. Now, in the performance categories, for running in sand, this shoe has a decent sole on it. It has decent grab. You don't feel any sliding. This thing is as expected in the sand for a run shoe. This gets a six out of 10. Running in the wet, I found this shoe to run just the same in the wet or the dry. Absolutely no slip whatsoever. I should give this thing a solid 10, but I don't give anything a 10. This is getting an 8.5 for running in the rain. For dry road running, what this shoe is designed for, it does run a little heavy. The foam feels a little bit heavier than most, and it has okay spring. Would I run it in a race if it was my only shoe? Yeah, I'd run it in a race, but I would choose a different shoe to run in a race. This does run well for training. It gets an eight out of 10, giving a grand total of 38.5 out of 50 points. For me, the most important thing that I judge is how much does it cost per mile? Not how much comes out of your pocket, but how much does it cost per mile and how does it fare versus the other shoes that we've taken a look at in the past. So if you're getting value from this video, make sure you drop down below, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the notification bell as I'm gonna be doing more and more of these reviews as time goes on. Here's the contender so far. Hoka Clifton Edge ran for 207 miles, cost $169, that's 85 cents per mile. Beyond Cloud Monster, 106 miles is all I got out of this shoe. $138 cost, $1.34 per mile. Race shoe only there, folks. The Diodora Vigore, 236 miles I got out of that shoe. $138 came out of my pocket to buy them, 58 cents per mile. The Asics Gelman is 25. I got an astounding 309 miles out of this shoe. $106, really inexpensive to buy. 34 cents a mile. I got really good mileage out of that shoe. Then the New Balance Fresh Foam 840 version one, 189 miles out of that, 
$139 is what it cost, 54 cents a mile is what it cost you to run this shoe. Plus Max, well, I hope to get 250 miles out of this shoe as I've run Brooks shoes before and got good mileage out of them. $149 came out of my pocket. This would give me an average cost per mile of 60 cents per mile. But what do you think? Are you gonna go out and buy a pair of these Brooks Ghost Max? Or are you gonna keep looking for something else? Well, will I buy another pair? Hope I'm not gonna tell you yet. The retirement video right here that will tell you how these shoes fared through a complete test. But until then, this is Coach John. Boom, I'm out.